So, uh, this one here, Uncle Dean. What, the number one album? Uh, oh, no, 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 I need to know about this. Tell me yeah. the year, the place, the who, the what. I think it's 63. What? It's original. Um, it's not very great condition now, but it plays fine. So what year was this? This is most of it. 63, or compilation different years. It's Some of the top groups from the, the Mersey... Mersey sound, the Beatles, you know, were the top group in the end. They weren't to start with. Um, is that Tony Sheridan on there? No, Shape, Sherry. Uh, the groups. There was 350 groups when the Beatles were going, but they got famous in Liverpool playing sort of rock and roll covers. Um, there was different volumes of this, I think. This must be the first one, because I've seen other ones. Is it volume two? Oh yeah, I'm gonna notice that down there, volume two, because I managed to get that for eighteen pound. I'm bidding on it on eBay because when I went to buy it in HMV, that was thirty five, and I thought it was, it was pretty high. It's got all the original exactly like that was released fifty years ago. Three years ago. You've got this on coloured vinyl, haven't you? Not that one, I haven't. No, I've got no? the butcher cover one on coloured vinyl. Right. And I've got I've got a couple more. Okay, this one here. Small faces. Talk us through this. That's, there's a few bootlegs of this out on eBay and Amazon. Yeah. It's Small Faces live at the BBC, 65 to 68. Um, This is a record store release day thing. Um, actually, I don't know how it's got with it. It's got a download card, I don't know. Oh, it's insert. Well, wow. I, I was watching it on eBay, wow, and the, the seller offered it to me for £13. Wow, look oh, at they that. They didn't put the envelope sleeves on like they did in the 60s. Oh, wow, look at that. And That's a really great bit of kit, isn't it? Oh, yeah, got I've, the got face it on, of it. I've got it on CD, but when I was offered it, 13 quid, I couldn't say no. No, oh, look at it. It's 13.50. That's like, that's like a one-off, isn't it? Yeah, I played it once because I've got it on CD. Yeah. I've got the Decker box set, and that's on there, live at the BBC. Well, it's, quite, it's quite sturdy. Oh, that's 180 milligram. Yes, that is. Let's it on the list then. 108 milligram orange. Because there's um, EPs of bits of the BBC sessions they've done. They've been selling picture covers. Uh, I don't know what it is. With what catches people, especially myself, when it's coloured vinyl. Uh, is that because it's not? That's uh, that's a bit more rarer. To get hold of exactly, and it's, it's uh, it, people, and think. I think it's a one-off as well. Yeah, well, that's a record store day yeah. one. Um, and of course, there hasn't been a record store this year, so people have done it online. Yeah, and. Obviously, someone's bought it, and or they bought a couple of great and tried to sell them on, and no one went for them, and they lowered the price. And I said, "Yes, that's more than fair enough. Thirteen quid, brand new album because it was sealed, and I've only played it once." Oh look, that's a cheeky. Is that a proper album they released? That's when they reformed in the seventies. That's 1977 on Atlantic. America. Oh, is, is that? Oh, no. bought out over here. Has that got Bud Stewart in it and all that? No, no, that's, that's still Stevie Marriott, 1977, when they reformed in the 70s. Oh, with yeah. Marriott? Yeah, the original lineup. Did they do Did they do some more stuff? New, new stuff? Yeah, yeah, but it sounds like the same sort of sound as when Rod Stewart joined them, because music had changed a bit. They sound very Rolling Stonesy, late Rolling Stones, late 60s Rolling Stones. How long Stones. did they stay together for right, on this time? Yes, that's all I think. They wouldn't go into the eighties, to my knowledge. That's yeah. when he got a group called um, Bag of Nails and Pack of Three. He, what? He had, when he died, he's going under the name Pack of Three. Steve Marriott. His yeah. group. Obviously, well, you know what that means. That's very good, Uncle Dean. He's nearly gone. <laughs> <What's more>? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Odeon, a German label, that's just the best of, but they've used the cover from um, with the Beatles, didn't they? Not with the Beatles, for sale. Bullshit. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. God, I don't need to put that much in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where's the mixer? There it is. Uncle Dean's cocktails, look. Oh, he makes a good cocktail, doesn't he? I've got tonic water in there when I run out of this. But tomorrow, I'll, do, I'll, I'll walk down that shop over there and get some. That's lovely. But there we go. We are on Uncle Dean's cocktails while we look at his records. That ain't a bad Saturday night, is it? I've got a few of because I've played them all, except for a couple of coloured vinyl, what I'd already got on CD. Thank you, Uncle Dean. But, and, to every, and to everybody else as well. Yep. Everyone sitting at home instead of being able to go in the pub. Yeah, we come to you now, don't we? Mm. <laughs> we're, we're, we're a mobile pub. Yeah. We are a mobile pub. We are a mobile pub. What would you like to say? Um, gin and tonic? I would like Uncle Dean's cocktail, please, and that bubblegum stuff. Well, I can taste the difference when I put a full mixer in it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now I mean, a pub. A bit more gin in it. Mix. It's lovely. Last one. It's still nice. At least Uncle Dean's opened the pub. Yeah. I, I we am, are now a pub. I, I am a mobile pub. Uncle Dean is a mobile pub. Shine on. Thank you, Uncle Dean. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Mobile pub. Oh, yeah.